D2 boys across opening round, the 8 vs 9 matchup, Montpelier hosting Green Mountain Valley School. Just before the half, good news for Montpelier, that's Luke Hawley rifling away to the back of the net. The bad news is that's their first goal, they're down 9-1. to one. In the third quarter, Gumby's extend that lead. Josh Valentine works his way in, beats the keeper near post. Later, Gumby's in transition with Jackson J Jewell. Takes the pass, deeks the keeper, and scores with one hand. What a finish as GMBS goes up by double digits. Montpelier did not entirely go away. Nelson Brown fires one home from distance, down by eight, but the Gumbies were too much today. Joel again with another slick finish, this time from the sharp angle. GMBS gets the big win, 16-7. Heading across town to U32 High School, Raiders were hosting Lamoille in boys lacrosse playdowns. First quarter action. Pass ahead to Hunter Solomon, puts it home. Raiders take an early 2-0 lead. Minutes later, the Lancers would respond with Trevor Rion. Nice turnaround shot, finds the back of the net right there. Slices deficit in half as they're on the board 2-1. Still first quarter, Raiders in transition. Nice passing leads to an easy score here. Solomon back for seconds, 3-1 Raiders in the second quarter. Jake Errett takes the pass and knows what to do with it from there. Makes it towards the goal and fires it in Raiders advance to an 11-4 final. Right next door, Woodstock also paying a visit to U32. They were on the baseball diamond. Pick things up in the first inning. That's where they would start as well. Man on third for Owen Kellington. Rips a base hit to right field. Eli Oliver cruises home for the first run of the game for the Raiders. Bottom of the second, Jesse Wild smokes this one deep to center field. But watch Kyle Weathier with a beat on it. Makes a leaping running snag and saves the extra base hit. The Wasp offense had trouble all day thanks to this guy. You saw Kellington do it with the bat. He does it with the arm as well on the mound, striking out the side in the third inning and helps the Raiders double up Woodstock by a final of 4-2.